analog inputs and outputs. PLCs must also work with continuous or analog signals. Typical analog signals are 0 to 10 VDC or 4 to 20 MA. Analog signals are used to represent changing values such as speed, temperature, weight, and level. A PLC cannot process these signals in an analog form. The PLC must convert the analog signal into a digital representation. An expansion module, capable of converting the analog signal, must be used. The S7200 analog modules convert standard voltage and current analog values into a 12-bit digital representation. The digital values are transferred to the PLC for use in register or word locations. In addition, analog modules are available for use with thermocouple and RTD type sensors used in to achieve a high level of accuracy in temperature measurement. Application example A field device that measures a varying value is typically connected to a transducer. In the following example a scale is connected to a load cell. A load cell is a device that takes a varying value and converts it to a variable voltage or current output. In this example the load cell is converting a value of weight into a 0 to 10 VDC output. The output value depends entirely on the manufactured specifications for the device. This load cell outputs 0 to 10 VDC for a 0 to 500 pounds input. The 0 to 10 VDC load cell output is connected to the input of an analog expansion module. The example application can be expanded to include a conveyor system with a gate to direct packages of varying weight. As packages move along the conveyor they are weighed. A package that weighs at or greater than a specified value is routed along one conveyor path. A package that weighs less than a specified value is routed along another conveyor path, where it will later be inspected for missing contents. Analog Outputs Analog outputs are used in applications requiring control capability of field devices which respond to continuous voltage or current levels. Analog outputs may be used as a variable reference for control valves, chart recorders, electric motor drives, analog meters, and pressure transducers. Like analog inputs, Analog outputs are generally connected to a controlling device through a transducer. The transducer takes the voltage signal and, depending on the requirement, amplifies, reduces, or changes it into another signal which controls the device. In the following example a 0 to 10 VDC signal controls a 0 to 500 pound scale analog meter.